Good morning. In this presentation, we are going to see how we can trade in EMCX crude oil today. Before looking into that, let us see what happened yesterday and what we expected yesterday. The chart which you are viewing is an 1 hour chart. That means every single candlestick represents 1 1 hour. Whenever I place the cursor on a particular candlestick, you can see the date below. These double dotted vertical lines indicates the price opening and closing for the respective days. Yesterday, crude market opened somewhere around 5360. You can see this black colored candlestick that indicates the price opening. And as we all know, as a continuous follower of our presentations and uh, daily presentation, we are targeting this 5300 and 5320. Unless until crude break this 5320 and 5300 and showed a strong resistance with a clear pattern formation having 5320 as resistance and a closing below 5300 then we expect the market to come down to reverse its trend till then we expected crude to continue its buying having 5320 to 5300 as the major support zone let us see what happened after the price opening so after the price opening you can see there was a clear buying the market stayed in line with the buying and it even had the strength to break this 5400 and 5420 and even you can see that the market created a new high after a long time 5444 near this zone so the price couldn't sustain after this so it entered into the critical resistance zone and you can see that again the market came down and tested this 5360 then there was a pullback you can see there was a pullback so the price even came down you can see this very long candlestick uh, so which has a body of a tiny black body and a head and a leg you can see this uh, so the price came down till 5320 yesterday and it was a huge bounce back so that is the reason we say this it is a potential support zone 5320 is a very potential support zone unless until uh, not 5320 even with this within this 5320 unless until we get a breakdown we cannot expect crude to move down see it is not uh, why we are witnessing we had given a lot and lot of explanation about this so there was a bounce back and the price closed around 5374 we can say that the price closing uh, sorry the price closed around 5360 so we can say the price opening and closing is more or less equal but it is above 5360 so the market has created a new high and it came down and tested a new low so this low is lower than the you can see on 12th and 11th the market has created a, a almost near the the tested the two days low and then it bounced back and closed above all the days high you can say closed above all the days of the price closing so wednesday you had a price closing here and tuesday here and tuesday here they again the closing is higher you can see that the price closing is higher so slowly and steadily the price is closing higher so in order to get a clear understanding let us go back and see the international prices uh, so this again is an one hour chart uh, which means all the candlestick represents one one hour whenever i place a cursor on a particular candlestick you can see the date below sorry i'm not going to place a cursor so always you can see the date and time below and uh, this price is quoted in dollars uh, so now let us see wow, how we got the price action you can see the data so this is the 13th from here we got the price action so from here the market uh, like how we saw in MCX the price opened here and it went up created a new high that is the reason we got that high of around 5440 so. then again there was a testing so the price came down and tested the average zones so. So we had drawn this average lines in order to give us and guide us uh, the trend. So after hitting it, so yesterday also we had explained it is not just the average. You can see this is the zone uh, which the where the market. Uh, you can see uh, from seventh uh, this zone this 96.6. Uh, so many times we had explained repeatedly about uh, 
the importance of 96.6 and 96.2 so it entered into the support zone which means it is 5320 and 5300 so that is the, that is the major reason uh, we had identified that zone uh, so you, for your explanation the price came down and entered into this zone you can see that so why we had picked this uh, uh, so that is a query why you are picking these 20 points uh, so uh, so we are making some adjustment today scenario depends upon the currency factors also so that is the reason we are picking a zone instead of uh, saying it as a support or resistance we are considering this as a zone so plus or minus 5 or 10 points uh, it can vary based upon the currency value also so that is the reason so you can see after hitting this uh, 96.6 exactly 96.6 uh, the market gave a bounce back and also after the price go closing in MCX you can see the market had created a new high you can see it had created a new high so you can uh, the, we can say that uh, the market was terribly in line with the trend but it gave some opportunity for, for those who had uh, gone for even after repeated saying that a few of them uh, it's likely to they want to test the resistance of 5400 and 5420 but again it had provided an opportunity for coming out of the market uh, so this is how we trade with the trend uh, so unless until we get a confirmation we always stay with the trend uh, and uh, we don't try to prove ourselves in the market uh, going against the trend so stay with the trend and we sail with the trend uh, so uh, you can see today's uh, expected price opening on seeing the NYMEX price it is above the previous uh, day high so it means that and still it's moving you can see it's updating uh, so the price opening can be uh, surely above 5460 now let us mark these uh, resistance uh, zones uh, and we know this 5500 uh, so many times we had got some hits in and around 5500 uh, so you can expect the price uh, to move and test this 5500 zones uh, so it is going to be a very good profitable week for uh, trend followers uh, so uh, you can see that uh, so how we identify the trend you can again we are saying that a low increasing in lows you can see and creating new highs uh. so at this stage uh, it seems that the market may come down but you can see it has created a new high consistently so let us see what's going to happen during our trading session and uh, you can expect the market at the same zone we are not going to modify the stop loss zone so you can expect the modified to stay in uptrend for today also let us see what's going to happen during our trading session and thanks a lot for watching our videos happy trading take care bye